What is up everybody, it's Larry back with you and today I have an unboxing, a first look and my impressions of the Ozobot. And the way they describe it here is the game piece with brains. And it does a lot of different things including uh, with an app, but this is Ozo Codes, which shows you some of the codes you can use to make this work. Uh, it reads these little colored dashes and gives it different uh, commands, like jump straight, go uh, go straight, uh, a bunch of different things. This one is a what they call a brain teaser, where you have to fill in using the three that it gives you, put them in the correct spot. Uh, it's just like little games and different things. This one here, you can draw your own map and make it do its own different things. They also sent me some markers. Uh, you need these four colors. That is what the Ozo bot reads. Uh, and here, just taking a look around the packaging, uh, some branding, some different company lines. Digital gets physical. Uh, so this is pretty cool. I'm going to be using this with Miles, uh, letting him give it a shot. But I mean, you could literally roll out a big, huge piece of paper and draw yourself a map and put the little draw the codes in and make this thing do all kinds of stuff so it's actually pretty interesting uh, and they sent it out to me and uh, big shout out to Ozobot for sending it to me because uh, this is something that's right up my alley with the kids so we'll get it out of the packaging here uh, it's just got a little clip that keeps it in place and then we'll set that little, little Ozobot to the side and we'll take a look at what all comes with it and what we have underneath is we have some a quick start guide. We have a deeper look at it, telling you what the different features are of it around it. And then we actually have a calibration card. This is the instructions. The calibration card is behind it with the black dot. Pretty much you put it to, uh, well, I'll show you later in the video. Uh, and then it's showing you Ozo cards. You can get some more different cards. And then it comes with this one right here um, where you fold it open and it does all kinds of different things. Again, I'll show you that later on. Then you have some care instructions, some info, warranty, and then uh, Ozo bought some stickers. So pretty cool. Uh, underneath that we have, this is like a little cover. Uh, there's a black one and a white one, and this is the white one, obviously. This is a little carrying case that you can put it in so it's safe if you drop it in a bag or whatnot. And then a micro USB charger um, so you can charge it up. And there you can see, looking at it, there's a little LED light in the center that changes colors. That's your power on button on the side there. Then you have some little motors and wheels you can see right behind the... Uh, the clear the clear plastic there and then at the bottom you can see all those little square cutouts as little readers for all the different code that you're going to be putting in so this thing is pretty for it being such a small device um, it is a very cool device and what I've done and the little bit that I've played with it I'm really actually enjoying it so here we go let's calibrate it to start off you need to calibrate this before you use it on paper or a tablet or pretty much anything so uh, you hold the button till the white light, the LED flashes white, and then when it flashes green, boom, you're calibrated. So then we'll put it on this little uh, card that came with it, and once it's on the blue light, you just drop it on there, and then it follows the black lines. And then depending on what color and the combination of colors with the little dashes, we'll give it different commands, whether it's speed up, turn left, turn right, jump ahead, go straight. I mean, there's, there's a ton of different things you can do. And what I like about it is that you have this option to have the cards, you can draw out what you wanna get, you can do brain teasers, you have the app, you can draw your own by itself. Um, really, it's, it's limitless to what you're gonna do. And here is the, um, the brain teaser one where you have the three, you can see the solutions in the bottom right hand corner, but you just color in which, uh, which command you think goes where to get the Ozobot from one end to the other. And then once you calibrate it, you put it on and there he goes. So very, some of it's very, very simple, even though the actual unit is pretty complex for what's inside of this thing that um, can fit in the palm of your hand. So uh, links for it will be down below. So make sure you check those out for pricing and availability. And then here is the Ozobot app. This is running on the iPad mini. In the playground here, you can choose different uh, background so different I'm calling them race tracks or different tracks um, so and then here's just a quick how to do it how to put the code in place rotate static codes use your two fingers but you can see at the bottom you have a bunch of different options and then you just hold and drag it up 
and then there's even more you can swipe and actually there's a lot of different options down there and then on the left you can actually color in your options uh, to make different things and then there's a racer there also so I mean again limitless, limitless possibilities with this and and these are the type of things as it comes for toys and this type of year uh, as we're recording this we're a few weeks away from Christmas and this to me is a perfect gift for a young child in your life whether it's your kids or your cousins or nieces or nephews so um, this would definitely be on my uh, list of recommended gifts and toys this year so check out Ozobot again uh, links for their website and the Amazon links will be down below and I was having a little bit of issue figuring out what I wanted to do with these um, but literally I mean there's one that can make it go super fast, which was sort of freaky um, because it just sort of took off, um, but it stays on that track. Uh, so it's, it's really, I mean, it's, it's impressive. I, I can't get over how impressed I am with it. Now it's not something that's gonna go get you a drink or chase your dog around or anything like that when you think robot. But uh, again, I think this is a really cool little gadget uh, that has a lot of uh, learning potential for young children learning uh, different coding and different ways to make this thing actually maneuver and do different things now here You can see there's a ton of different backgrounds that you can choose from uh, and then you can actually also with free draw Create your own background or like I said a racetrack or track so here I'm just gonna do like a, a spiral pattern uh, and I'll be I'll be a hundred percent honest with you I thought there's no way that this is gonna work because I just literally this is the first thing that I did And then I just throw a code in there just to fool around with but I dropped it right on and the proof is in the pudding. It just went straight around. Well, not straight, it circled, circled around. But um, I, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, aside from the tablet part of it, uh, my kids have iPads and that part's cool. But I really like the fact that they can get a some markers and paper and actually draw out whatever they want. I'm thinking about getting a roll of uh, butcher paper and just rolling it out and let them just come up with their craziest imagination track and like just see if we can get it to work. I'm actually thinking about actually purchasing a few more of these Ozo bots just so we can do some crazy stuff. And then here's just a little challenge where this is a super easy one. So it was only one piece of code, which was jump ahead. So obviously you put the jump ahead before <laughs> the, the gap in the bridge. So um, yeah, so that's about it, guys. Uh, I, I can't say enough of it. I don't have anything negative to say about this. There's actually two um, applications that you can get. Uh, there's the standard one, which I showed you, and then there's a dancing one, which I couldn't get to um, to work properly, so I didn't want to show it in the video. I'm 99.9% .9 sure it was something that I, I wasn't doing quite right, but um, there is some options out there for different things in the, in the dance one. You can put different music to it, and they dance around. You can get multi-ozobots, and actually they'll dance in unison. It's actually pretty cool. There's video videos of it uh, on their website. So again, Ozobot, big shout out to them for sending this to me. Uh, this is going to be a big hit with Miles uh, in the next upcoming weeks. Um, I'll probably let him play around with it this week and uh, pay attention to the vlogs because I'll probably vlog what he does with it and uh, what we come up with with uh, some butcher paper, some different things that we're going to be trying out. So um, big shout out to Ozobot. Big shout out to you guys for watching the video. I appreciate the continued support. The channel is growing like crazy and I could not be happier that you guys are enjoying the content that I'm putting out. So if you enjoyed this video, give me the big thumbs up. If you are new to the channel and just came across this because you were checking out this awesome product, uh, make sure you slap that subscribe button down below and you'll be seeing more content like this and a lot more content coming in the upcoming months. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.